Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon playthrough. Last time we made through the uh, west side of the Haunted Towers. We made it to the pool party, we got the key back, but at the very last second, a ghost dog took our key away, and now we need to uh, get that key back. So that's what we're going to be... Uh, dealing with today. So, a very frisky spectral pooch took the special key that we need. Track the dog down and get that key. Okay, sounds good to me. Hey, that rhymed. Uh, well, Luigi, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the ghost dog that took the spectral key is still somewhere in the haunted towers. The bad news is the dog is running from room to room, so we can't actually pinpoint him. However, the periscope discovered something that may help us. The dog left behind a trail of spectral paw prints starting in the courtyard. If you follow the invisible trail, you should eventually find them. The paw prints will be invisible to the naked eye, so you'll need to use the dark light device to reveal them. Ready, Luigi? Don't you dare come back here without that special key. Haha, <laughs> you should have seen your face, Sonny. Huh, priceless. Hey, dude, you could help, too. <laughs> I'm doing all the work. <laughs> okay, so we need to find, uh, we need to find the polter pup. Sounds like what we need to do. But let's start by getting some money for, oh wait, I didn't actually have to do that. Oh, okay. So yeah, that gives you basically... Essentially, while you're going through this mission, you want to look for little signs of that nature to see if you can basically pinpoint where the ghost dog is ended up going. You'll find little clues, basically, like, not in every room, because, like, if you don't find anything, obviously you've probably gone too far out of your way and everything, but still, if you just kind of keep a general eye on what's going on, you can kind of find where it's going to end up going. He ate the key! Looks like we'll have to capture him. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, you can see the paw prints kind of heading into a certain area. And that's, that's basically how you track him down. It's really not too hard. Um, you can also use this mission a little bit to track down some of the missing, like, gems you may have missed. But not all of them. As you can see, like, uh, right now, this part's kind of blocked off, so we can't get that now. But for the most part, there are some cases where you can kind of revisit some of the older rooms and find stuff. Just don't be surprised if you won't be able to get, like, everything, because, again, some things are pretty well blocked off, all things considering. Okay, so... Paw prints... Okay, so you went into that room in the north. Before we go that way, though, let's go ahead and... Frog. So let's go ahead and find some other stuff before we get moving. Okay. Any... Hints? Oh, we got spiders in here. Nothing in here. We're not getting any hints. Uh, oh, you know what? It's because he's in this room. Just keep in mind uh, that bottom room actually spans the width of these two rooms together, so you gotta keep that in mind. So, yeah, we know the ghost dog's in here, so let's open this up. Aww. Honestly, Polterpup is, like, really cute. Re really, really cute doggo. Definitely annoying to try to track him down and everything, but. Even with that being said, it's, you know, a very, very cute ghost dog character. Okay. Oh, careful, Polter Pup. Don't activate lawn mowers without Luigi supervision. Don't want you to get hurt. Just saying. 
Okay, so you can kind of get some of the stuff in here again if you want to get a couple of extra um, treasure things. I don't see where the bucket is, though. Oh, it's here. I have a feeling there might be, a, like, a gold ghost in here, because it seems kind of... Seems kind of weird that they'd keep this hidden. Like, keep the bucket hidden like that. If there wasn't, like, some kind of... Uh, secret you could find in here. That's just me, though. I know one of these. Like, yeah, that's obviously the gem, so we don't need to get that again. And yeah, getting the gem, I don't think is like... I don't think you'll get, like, any extra treasure or anything for grabbing the gem. It's just, again, it, it shows that you have it and got it again. That is something you ultimately need. What do we got? Anything else? Nope. Okay. Well, let's go back. Um, I think the dog went into this room. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> ah! See, like, these ghosts are annoying, like, when there's, like, you want to try to make sure that you get, like, a bunch of them together. That's annoying. I think some of the gold bars went on the other side of the fence, so I can't get them now. I think it did the same thing there, too. Oh, no, I think it gave me health for that one, but still. Yeah, like, seriously, some of the gold bars went behind there, it seemed like. It's like, how am I supposed to get that? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> okay, so notice that, uh, yeah, things are missing in this tool shed now. Um, we can try to get them back. But there is another reason why you want to do this. Um, yeah, if you uh, restore the room. Yep, yep, I'm French Boodle. Aren't I beautiful? No. But yeah. Uh, this ghost. It's kind of interesting how, like, in some cases, like, the boos are just, like, hiding in something. In other cases, they're, you know, in a missing object. In this case, like, you actually have to, like, just fulfill the condition of restoring the room. They kind of gave, like, different boos different, like, objectives. And there are some cases, like, especially the first boo we found, like, where they're, like, you know, actually part of the mission objectives. So you'll get them along the way. Kind of neat like that, I guess. Hello. Hello. Ghost dog. Now, I actually saw this before I moved. I'm going to actually get you now. So these guys, these guys don't have health. And they don't really move either, so you can kind of get a free, uh... Free triple gold bar for those, for the most part. So we do kind of need to climb this area again. Um, I don't really need to do that. Uh, I guess I'll go ahead and get that. Actually, I think isn't that just a gem? I don't think it's a gem. The gem, I think, is in the seeding laboratory. Which we do already have. We don't have to worry about it anyway. But... Oh, that is a gem. Okay, well, never mind. I forgot. Now, 
believe the polter pup is in here. Actually, maybe it's not. I will get this gold bone, though. I guess I could try to do this again and get some more gold bars. Again, this mission's not terribly long, because we're, lit we're literally just chasing the polter pup around. We've already got all the gemstone pieces as well. So we're in no major rush. I have to get the rat too? I guess I do, apparently. Or maybe, okay, maybe you don't get it in this one. Okay. Oh, whatever. Sorry for wasting your time. Again, it's very weird how, like, specific missions unlock specific things, but others don't. Like, you really have to focus on that. Wait, did he go? Okay, he went to the higher room. Oh, gold ghost. Yeah. I wonder if there's like a gold ghost in every mission. There probably is, honestly. Okay, good. I know I lost some of the dollar bills, but I got all the gold bars, which are the bigger priority when it comes to collecting treasure, so I'm pretty okay with that. Okay, so we're back in the conservatory. It looks like, uh... Ah, hello. Hello, motorcycle and weird ghost thing. Oh, is the piano missing? play a little ditty on the piano. Ah, Ghost Dog was playing piano too. Oh, guess what, Ghost Dog? I found you! And he left again. Oh. Come back, Ghost Dog! Actually, we have to do a fight first. Oh, I have one of these... Uh, big Ghost again. See, I guess when it comes to these big ghosts, you can't really um, use the jump dodge for these guys because they're just too big. Was able to get some nice treasure from that one though, so that's good. Whoops! Don't mind me. I just slipped on some goo. <laughs> I know. Dumb. <laughs> oh, sweet. I'll take some help. Okay, so it looks like he went in here. What you doing, ghost dog? Duh! <laughs> He's just very cute and adorable. Just that expression. It's so cute. If you don't like Polter Pup, you are not a good person. Nah, I'm not gonna say that. But still, Polter Pup is the best. Why are you in the toilet? Oh, you're not in the toilet. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Are you in the sink? Why are you in the sink? <laughs> Silly doggo. He just wanted to hide in the sink, that's all. Okay, so... Oh, can I just... Okay, no, that's... 
Nice. Okay, is he in the bedroom? No, he is. He's in this bed. Found you. Is he finally... Oh, we can finally get him. I'm gonna get you, ghost dog. Got you. We did it. Oh no, he bent the key though. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's the it. That's it. That's the end of the mission. It has kind of a sudden end, but it's all right with me. Huzzah! You finally nabbed the special key. Good work catching that dog, Luigi. You know, I think the little guy just wanted someone to play with. Well, you'll find plenty of playmates in the vault. I'll bring you back now, son. Hold on. Okay. We did it. Mission complete. I took about 13 minutes. Not too bad. Now, we didn't get a lot of treasure, but uh, because it's kind of a short mission, the three-star rank is not too hard to get. I think I even got this on my first try in my practice playthrough, too, so... Yeah, pretty pretty easy mission, all things considered. Okay, so... With that done, let's go back to the lab, and I think after this, uh, you know, we're actually going to end the video early for once. <laughs> But we'll also go back, we'll go to the lab, like the actual underground lab, now that we have all the gemstones for this area, so. We'll, uh, we'll do a little more before we wrap this up. So let's try to send this uh, pooch down to the vault. Got a new boo. That's really all we got, though. Oh no! He got free! Uh. Criminy, how did it escape from the Poltergeist 5000? I guess I'll have to tighten up the containment unit. But that can wait. Let's see that special key. Gah! It's all chewed up and slimy. I'll ask the Toad fellow to clean it before I try to repair it. Yes, the timing of this will work out perfectly, because I've finished my analysis of the spectrogenetic paracomposition of the Dark Moon pieces we have. Oh, ah, uh, sorry, how do I put this? Luigi, I basically asked our Dark Moon pieces where their friend is hiding, and once I enter the data into the periscope, we'll know exactly where the next Dark Moon piece is. I mean, didn't we already kind of logically predict that it's going to be in the tree? Like, <laughs> I don't think there's much to really go beyond there. Before we start that, let's go back to the lab and see what we, uh, see what stuff we can uh, now look at here. Because I believe we have a new statue now from the gems we've collected. So yeah, let's go take a look at the ghost container. We got some new ghosts here. Whenever it says new on a ghost we already had, it's basically the new weight that we got for that ghost. So now we have all these ghosts. We're still missing some here and there. Ooh, the gold greeny. Ooh, very secret ghost. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see more of these as we go throughout this. So next up, we're going to look at the boo, can boo canister. It's getting a little more crowded in here. Uh, here we have the unlockables. As you can see, we have one more unlockable to get that we need to get up to 20,000 gold to collect. Which I feel like we'll probably get around that again during World 3 of the Third Mansion. And finally, the gem collection. We have the Gloomy Manor gems, and now we have the Haunted Tower gems. 
so we can view the statue we have. And I guess I didn't really notice this, but um, yeah, you can see around the base of the statue that you have all the gold pieces or the gemstone pieces, so that's basically what we have. And you can also um, look at the other one. They are, they are different poses, pretty much, so each pose will be different. <clears throat> but yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, so um, I'm going to go ahead and start wrapping this video up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. hope you guys enjoyed more of the uh, Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon playthrough. Uh, next time, we'll probably take on the boss and probably do the uh, ghost hunting mission as well, so... Uh, we'll wrap up uh, Haunted Towers and get ready for the next uh, mansion. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Later, folks.